Okay, so whenever you're given a formula, you can use it in like four different ways. So just because this formula says to find term n, uh, you just need a, n, and d. What that actually means is if you want to know what a is, you just need to know term n, n, and d. Or if you want to know what n is, you just need to know d, a, and term n. Or if you want to know any of those, you just need to know the other three. Okay, so if you know three, you can find the fourth. That's what I'm getting at. For example, what if you were asked to find a, the first term, if the seventh term is 19 and the common difference is 4? Well, we just need to plug it into our formula. We can say that term n, so term in this case 7, the seventh term, uh, so the seventh term is equal to a plus n minus 1, so n's going to be uh, 6, sorry, n's going to be 7, because we're talking about the seventh term. I just got a bit ahead of myself there. 7 minus 1, and the common difference is 4 there. Uh, now, term 7 was actually 19. So 19 equals a plus 7 minus 1 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. Uh, and that means that a is equal to 19 minus 24, which means that a is equal to uh, negative 5. Okay, so thinking about that a little bit, um, find a, the first term is negative 5. We were told that the common difference is 4, so the whole sequence would be negative 4 plus 4, negative 1, uh, plus 4, 3, plus 4, 7, um, 11, um, 15, uh, 19. So the first term was negative 5, which I just found, and the seventh term we were told was 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes. All I've done is sub in my numbers, rearrange for A, finished. All right, so here's another question. Uh, find the common difference if the first term is 2 and term 9 is equal to 30. So again, we're subbing in all of our stuff. Term 9 is equal to A, which is 2, plus N minus 1. Well, we're using term 9, so that's uh, 9 minus 1, times the common difference, and that's the thing I don't know. Uh, now, term 9, I was told, term 9 is equal to negative 30. Negative 30 equals 2 plus 8d. And rearranging that a little bit, I move that over there, I get uh, negative 30 minus 2 plus 8d. So that's negative 32 equals, uh, I don't need the plus there, do I? 8d which means that d equals negative 32 over 8, uh, which is, um, oh, that worked out neatly. That means that d is negative 4. Okay, so what does that mean? The first term was 2. The common difference is negative 4. So that means I'm subtracting instead of adding. So 2 minus 4 is minus 2, minus 6, um, minus 10, minus 14, minus 18, minus 22, uh, minus 26, minus 30. Uh, and I was told that term 9 is negative 30. Term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4, term 5, term 6, term 7, term 8, term 9, negative 30. That checks out. Okay, so arithmetic sequences, as long as you know the formula and you know this, this, this or this, you can find this. If you know this or this, you can find that etc. As long as you know two of the things, you can find the other one.